I did an air pressure leak inspection and turns out that I forgot to put pipe dope on this and Teflon tape alone just isn't enough. So huge error on my part. But in that process I noticed I think I may have a couple one too many fins on here possibly. So I gotta take this other side off too and get some pipe dope on here. Huge failure on my part. But that's what the thermal conduit looks like inside of there. Teflon tape and pipe dope. Still leaks. Soft pipe dope is the stupidest idea I've ever seen. It does not work. Fuck. Okay, here we are in the nightmares of the construction phase. Now this top side here, as you can see, has been Teflon taped and pipe doped. It does not leak. Initially I just used Teflon tape and it leaked. So I removed the Teflon tape and went just to pipe dope and it leaked. So having seen plumbers at my construction job use both, I decided to try both Teflon tape and the pipe dope. Well, this bottom seal that I have removed with that wire wheel right there still leaks and it is tightened as tight as I can get it with the tools that I have perhaps if I had a bigger wrench maybe that was my problem I just didn't get it tight enough I don't know that could be possible all I know is at this point I am going to solder this thing if it will solder and if it won't solder I'm going to weld it because no matter what I do I cannot get this thing to stop leaking now it was just little teeny tiny bubbles probably would have took a week to drain but this thing cannot leak so I have spent the entire day trying to get this thing not to leak and to get it apart it's not easy as you can see just to be able to turn this cap this joint has to be liquefied so this kinetic actuator is turning out to be a real pain to construct definitely need to get some bigger wrenches I think that's my main downfall. All I have are huge channel locks for this job. So after many, many attempts, this is what it's come down to. I have had to acid core flux solder this end cap to keep it from leaking. This one here has some small bubble growth. So, yeah, if anyone has any comments on pipe fitting and getting these things not to leak with gases, I know liquids leak a lot less as easy. So, I don't know. I'm just disappointed at how hard it was to get this thing not to leak. It's like midnight. I started on this thing at 10 o'clock in the morning. I've had to take it apart like five times. Now it just looks like beat up hell. So yeah. So this is the setup that I'm going to use to prime this unit. I have a vacuum pump. It only goes down to 25 inches of mercury. And I'm not very familiar with the vacuum world, so I led to believe that's not a very good vacuum at all. Um, you can buy a 28-inch mercury vacuum pump at Harbor Freight for like 18 bucks. So I can't imagine that being a very good unit I have here. I mean, it'll crush a water bottle if you uh, hook it up to that. But basically, what I have here. Is a rig going over to this siphon bottle with an air inlet 
and this will keep oil out of my vacuum pump as soon as I start to see oil run up this line I'm going to shut the unit down and this is basically transmission fluid mixed with synthetic motor oil I didn't have big enough wrenches to really tighten it I think is why this side kept leaking hopefully this side holds up huge channel locks are all I had to tighten this thing up so that may have been the problem but anyway here we go battery level is 65 percent drawing a vacuum but no oil yet oh maybe if I open that there it goes you kinda missed that So it's pumping at a fairly quick rate. I better be on the good the guard here. There it goes already. Okay. That's pretty quick. I kind of need a valve right here to uh, engage a vacuum in the unit. I have a feeling that's what I'm going to need. It really wouldn't hurt this pump to suck up a little bit of this oil. I'd rather it didn't. I don't know what the level is and that could possibly damage the reed valve smacking oil into it really don't know Okay, turns out I'm just a little slow in the head. A lot of you may have caught that already. Basically what I need to do is attach a bigger line to this or I need to bend this unit down. I need to make this unit face upwards like this. I can't show you because I'm attached to my bottle of course, but uh, I'm going to have to turn the camera off and do that to finish this up. Basically the fluid level is about right here right now. And it's just sucking up into there so I'm a complete idiot for thinking that was gonna work I thought about that the other day that I wouldn't be able to do it like this and then it dawned on me as I'm doing the priming that I'm an idiot that's what we want to see red lines definitely glad I went with the transmission fluid do you have a slow seep in there? So I'm worried. I may need to just go ahead and build a fitting out of those pieces for this. If this thing doesn't get primed right, it won't work. And the smallest of air bubbles, even an air bubble that size, would inhibit the performance a little bit. Not much on a unit this big, but. I can't have air in this thing. 